Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier and this is The Piracy Show. Now on today's show we're gonna kind of go in a different direction. And the reason for that is there was a post on ship updates, more or less saying that because I asked the question, you know, what if the Idris is in 3.0, that I was basically using it to drive subs and that I was being sensational. So I'm gonna kind of answer that, but also because there's always new subscribers turning up, I think it's a good idea to generally put out an episode here or there that kind of reiterates the idea behind the channel and um, what this channel is all about. And what this channel is all about is, it is not sensationalism, it is simply asking the questions. If I'm exploiting anything, it's I'm exploiting the lack of active discussion around ships. That's why I'm doing more piracy shows now than ever before. It's because there's so much to talk about, and especially when we're in a content drought like we're in right now, you have to kind of generate conversation and get people talking because right now CIG isn't really talking. Now, it's easy to kind of sit there and say, oh, well, you know, you're just saying that just to get all the Idris fans all worked up because they're just so crazy about their ship and blah, 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 blah. And it is, you, all you have to do is put the title Idris in the video and you're going to get 50,000 views or whatever. And that's not the point of it. The point of it is what if. Now, you might say, oh, well, no, that, that, that would never happen. That's, that's impossible. Well, there's a precedent for, and there's a precedent against. Precedent for, the Caterpillar. The Caterpillar was originally slated for a post 3.0 release, but then it got released in 2.6.0 back in January. The last substantial content patch, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. But yeah, it was released back in January. It was released like not even in the three series of patches, it was released still in the two, so it got out early because it was finished. Argument against that is the Dragonfly precedent. Now the Dragonfly precedent is a ship, or a space bike rather, that we have seen since Gamescom of 2016 in various states of functionality, and yet it has not arrived in game yet because they want to hold it back until planetary landings are there. So. With the Idris, same sort of idea. They might want to hold it back for Squadron 42. So maybe they're just going to hold on to it for a while. Now, another possible argument for, like we were talking about January being the last substantial content patch. Now, we've gotten little patches and little fixes here and there. And I think the Buccaneer was finally included in one of them, 262 or 263. But in the end... We really haven't gotten much in a long time, and CIG might be kind of sensitive to that. And yes, okay, I'll stop teasing you with the Idris image. But the point is, CIG might be sensitive to that. They might be looking at the Idris and saying, you know what, we dropped the Idris, and boom, people are just going to flip out, and it might quell a lot of that unrest and a lot of that impatience if we drop the Idris and it's a possibility because now they're teasing us with it and showing it to us at Gamescom and saying here it is landing on a planet loading ramp on it look at all the cool shit it does you know it, it, it's kind of always a mixed message so you don't really know what's going on and some people will say well they said it they said it's not going to be in 3.0 yeah well they said things about LTI and release dates I mean I mean, don't you know Squadron 42 and 3.0 are going to be out in 2016? What are you talking about, dog? Come on. People say things all the time and then things show up late or not at all or early. We don't know. So why ask a question like that in the first place? Why go and say, oh, is the Idris going to be in 3.0? Possibly. It could possibly, but then again, they might look at it and say, you know what, we are really trying to get this patch out. We are really stuck adding the Idris, even though it might make the fans go nuts. Adding an Idris would add way too many layers of complexity to the problems that we're trying to solve right now. Even though maybe we want it and they want it, we got to bench it because it's just not ready yet. We're just not there yet. So what I'm doing with that question is I am actually exploiting something, but what I'm exploiting is not people's interest in the Idris. What I'm exploiting is the lack 
of actual content and conversation in regards to ships in a spaceship game. Now, seeing the burn down, of course, is interesting. It's okay, here are our problems this week. Here, here's what's holding us back. Here's a chart that shows how many problems are left to fix before we actually get 3.0 out to you. But the problem with that chart is, is one pro you might have 25 problems to fix one week, you might have 10 problems the next week, but those 10 problems might take you 10 days, they might take you 10 months, you don't know. So the chart is, is, is adorable but meaningless. And the burn down, it's nice to see, it's informative, it's, it's good to see people working to solve the problem. But in the end, I mean, it is people around a conference table talking, you know, on Skype and saying, this is broken, this is missing, blah, blah, blah. And so when it's kind of like a 20, 25 minute segment, it, it gets kind of dry. And then when the segment after that deals with you know, stuff that is interesting, certainly, but overall, I mean, it's, you know, it's a spaceship game. It's a space game with spaceships. Like, why don't you show us the spaceships? I mean, the production window for the Reclaimer. That's opened and closed and that's gone by. And no one has said a word about the Reclaimer. What's up with that? And that's a, that's a show topic. That's a question to be asked. And then people go, well, maybe they'll include it. No, nah, they won't include it because it'd be too complicated. They're already facing more problems. But what if they did just to make a big splash at GamesCon? Or CitizenCon? GamesCon. Oh man. Anyways, so you see what I'm saying, but by asking that in a video, then people respond in the comments and they say no, or they say yes, or they say maybe, and then other people respond to that, and then it drives a conversation. And you know, going back to the old days in Star System, we had Wingman's Hangar, the old reverse the verse you could interact with the developers a lot more freely, and you could ask substantial questions and even if they couldn't answer them they could say well here's the spirit of where we're going here's the idea of what we're going to and that was interesting and that was engaging and that was a great great way to do things the problem was eventually i guess some people painted themselves in corners with some of their earlier answers and so when that didn't pan out it kind of became a little uncomfortable because people like myself would say hey a year ago you said this, but now you're saying that. So could you clarify it? Oh, uncomfortable moment. And so I guess people shied away from providing that content altogether. And so it has now become more or less a presentation every week. And so when you do a show like Ship Updates, it can be kind of difficult, especially, you know, when there are so few updates out there. I mean, when you're best source of information or at least pictures or anything is Sandy Gardner's Twitter then the, I mean Twitter is a picture and maybe a comment but I mean there's really no substance to that why isn't that on ATV why aren't we talking about this on ATV you know instead of like oh here's um here's how we plan to solve the next 10 problems that we don't actually tell you what they are but we just kind of say that this is a vague problem with this system but and then we fade out and then the guy goes, oh, and then we got tickets and then we fixed them. Now, when I'm you know, presenting these things and talking about them and, you know, in the comment, once again, saying, oh, this is all old news. Of course, it's all old news. When have we gotten new news on ships? When do we ever get new news? The only thing we get is pictures from Sandy Gardner's Twitter. So I have to look at this stuff and I have to pull these images out and say, here, this is this is it. And I can't put out a show called ship updates that last 30 seconds it's like this is what sandy gardner put on twitter peace it's not much of a show so i have to kind of take these pictures and go okay now the previous week they told us this or here's this ship and it, they've shown it to us and it seems to be close to ready might we see it sooner than expected i don't know and then people talk and then you can drive a show off of the discussion off of the information you see what i'm saying is you can kind of get people interacting with each other and saying, yeah, I think this would happen or no, you know what, why, why not have this happen? Or maybe they want to hold it back for this. And then people talk and people get involved. 
Now, as a content creator, that's what I do. I like to drive speculation. I like to ask questions and see how people answer them. Say, that guy's got a good idea. That guy's got a bad idea. I realize that my channel is profoundly lacking in dank memes and anime themes. And I have yet to produce a substantive expose on Chris Roberts' use of Illuminatus magic to make us buy starships. I am sorry, and I have been remiss on that topic possible future show there but the, I just like to talk about the ships I like to ask questions about the ships now CIG is being a little stingy right now with the ship information so I try to drive conversation instead and try to ask questions like what if there's an argument for there's an argument against what's in the middle I don't know So right now with ship updates, you have to drive conversation because, you know, like Tony Zurevec is too busy fixing problems and getting things to work. All the people that you want to hear from are too busy fixing problems and doing work to appear on the show and have a chat about this, that or the other things. So things have dried up and plus they always hold back content for Citizen Con. So that's the way it is. So you, you just got to drive that conversation. But I think in driving the conversation, you know, that's why I do so many more piracy shows than I do ship updates because there really are no ship updates and the community drives far more interesting content than the developers do, especially right now. I mean, you know, someone asks me, why aren't there any parachutes in the game? I mean, we're landing on planets. Why aren't there any parachutes? I mean, instead of landing troops like you were talking about, we could, you could fly a Vanguard hoplite over a target and you could just do like a halo jump and you could drop all your troops like just like paratroopers onto a target have you ever thought about that maybe that's a topic for a show and it's like god damn that's a great topic for a show holy shit let's talk about parachutes why are there no parachutes in the game boom and you have a topic you have a show run with it another guy asks what are the piratical possibilities of the merchantman i am going to do that one I just need a little more time to think it through and do a little research, but, and that's an awesome thing. And so w when I do a show like that and I say, hey, what if they did put the Idris in 3.0? I just want to get people talking because right now the community drives a lot more interesting conversation than CIG is. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the show and thanks for watching. Now get hypnotized and buy more ships.